Hey everyone, Josh Guthrie here with Input Ace, bringing you another video tip Tuesday. In today's tip, I'm gonna to talk to you about the interrogate tab and some of the features you'll find in there while you're examining your video. So let's get started. As you can see, I have Input Ace open and running. I've imported a video into my file list and I've hit the interrogate button and I am interrogating a video. Within the interrogate tab, we have three sections. We have our viewer window up top here. We have our timeline and player controls below. And then we have our file metadata for the file that we're looking at. Above the viewer window, there is a light gray bar right here that if I left click and hold that and drag off to the side, we can see that my viewer window and my timeline and player controls actually pop out as a separate window that I can then resize if need be, just like you would any other window. Uh, if I double click on the gray bar here at the top, it will make it full screen. If I simply um, <clears throat> click the, the gray bar again, it minimizes it again. And if I needed to get back to uh, the original layout of the interface, Right here, I have a restore button in my player controls. And also here in the workspace, there is a restore bar up here that if I hit either one of those, if I hit the restore button here or here, it takes me back to the original view that I was looking at before I popped the windows out. The darker gray bar below the viewer window and in the timeline here actually undocks the timeline and the player controls. So if I wanted to move that off to another screen, uh, for instance, I'm working on three monitors at the moment, and I kind of like to window things and move things around uh, so I could break out my, my timeline. I could simply come up here again and grab this gray bar by my viewer window and break that window out. Now I have multiple uh, different windows that I can range on my screen. Again, to get back to the original, I can hit the restore button or the restore bar here and the restore button uh, in my player controls. And you see it takes me back to uh, the original interface again that I was working in before I, I popped out the windows. So it's very useful if when you're working uh, with multiple monitors especially, uh, you can tile things around on your monitors. Uh, you know, to, you may have another program open and running. Uh, I have a few programs running sometimes uh, while I'm looking at video. So it's just kind of helpful to kind of be able to organize your things uh, the way you would like to. Now, additionally, there is a single button click here in our timeline controls. We have a button here for our full screen video that if I click that, you'll see that this area went blank. And what it did was because I'm running multiple monitors, it took my, my viewer window, made it full screen on another monitor. And it would look like this on that other monitor. So you see I have my viewer window and just simply my player controls and timeline. Within this, you could still break out your timeline if you wanted to and to redock uh, that timeline and player controls. You notice when we're moving our timeline around, two arrows pop up. When I hover my cursor over the lower arrow, a gold band pops up at the lower part of the screen and it will dock my timeline below the viewer window. Same thing at the top here. There is also another arrow that when I hover my cursor over it, I get a gold band and it will dock my player controls above. To get back again to our original interface, we simply click our restore button that's right here. And it takes us back to the original interface that we started with. So just some easy controls there for you to uh, maximize your workspace if you want to, to kind of customize it. We have our pop out windows here and we also have our full screen, our single click full screen uh, control for our viewer window. So I hope this helped you as you're looking at your video. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.